Good morning. Breakfast this morning was some um, oatmeal breakfast bars and these I've been making for several years. They're made with applesauce and molasses and raisins. They're really good. I'm working on my scaffolding so that I can uh, work safer and faster on the side of the house and Lydia is helping uh, make it pretty right now. I'm just in from the garden and I was working on some weeding. Got out a little late so it's really hot out here so I'm not getting a lot done but I just picked all that and those are peas, kale, and some leaf lettuce and I also picked a whole bunch of turnips you can see here and I'm gonna figure out what to do with them for our either lunch or dinner and then you can see my peppers are growing nicely and there's my tomatoes they're also doing very well and there's Lydia what are you eating Lydia peas, peas are they yummy yeah they're good when they're fresh right off the vine and there's Art. He's almost finished building his makeshift scaffolding for the side of the house. Kind of hot, isn't it? It is a little hot. Um, well, this is uh, scaffolding I made out of mostly out of uh, uh, lumber that we had laying around. The plywood and, and most of the newer wood uh, came from when we uh, tore down the porch that we didn't need anymore. And. Uh, then this came from an old house down the street that they were, they tore down part of it and got rid of some wood, so I got that. And, uh, and then some of the other boards are leftovers from a project we did. So all we had to do was buy a $6 box of, of screws, and I'll reuse those screws again. So this is a virtually free project that I did right here. I finished my scaffolding, and now I have to take it and move it around there and over to the side of the house which is going to be a little bit of a chore but I think I can do it. I've moved heavier objects before. I don't know if I've ever moved a bigger object but I've certainly moved a lot heavier objects. I went over and visited my neighbor because she has this wonderful cookbook. I don't remember the name of it, but she has this wonderful cookbook that has all kinds of great recipes for um, vegetables that come out of the garden. And because I had picked all those turnips, I wasn't sure what to do with them, so I went over and visited her, and she gave me a recipe. And this is what they look like. They're in the middle of cooking. And they're just caramelized turnips that you uh, brown and caramelize in the pan and then you cover them and finish the cooking. And she says they're outstanding, so I'm trying it out and we'll see what everybody thinks. Well, we have the turnips at the table. The kids don't exactly like it, so John put it on his hot turkey sandwich and is eating it that way. Whatever works. I think Peter just ate his and Terry just ate hers. What'd you think, so. Pete? Was it too bad? Uh, yeah. Not very good. But it was edible though, right? Mm -hmm. I would I'll probably look at this. Mm -hmm. But wait, no, I'm not starving. Blah. Okay, when you're seven, you think you're going to like it? Starving. Um, no. You're starving, you said. Seven or starving? Starving. Starving, right. Mm -hmm. No, it's mine. You like anything when you're starving. Okay, Peter's having fun with the scaffolding before we move it. Okay, that's enough, Peter. Time to move it. Well, kids are having a little snack of frozen blueberries. And uh, We are taking a little break uh, after moving the scaffolding. Now we just have to put it upright in place and then we're ready to work on the side of the house finally. I picked a whole bunch of rhubarb tonight 
and I'm making an old-fashioned rhubarb pudding cake. Um, the bottom has the batter and then you pour the, the rhubarb topping on the top and then it all kind of bakes together. I picked some extra rhubarb and I have a quart, another quart bag I'm going to stick in my freezer for winter. What are you doing, Art? I'm drying off my tools. Why are you drying them off? Did you leave them out in the rain? <laughs> You're being mean. No. <laughs> okay, well we have our dehumidifier down in the basement that I always have to empty out about every eight hours or so to try to keep our basement dry. So. I, we have their Bilco doors outside, the, you know, the doors that fly up open, that you can try them up and down up from outside. So I was taking my tools in, set the toolbox down, open up the doors, went downstairs, grabbed the water, went through it, they dumped it out, and then as soon as I dumped it out, I realized that I just dumped it on my tools. Oops. Yeah, oops is right. Uh, I think it looks a little wet in there. Yeah, well, they needed a good cleaning anyway. I'm sure you had nothing else to do tonight, right, Art? I uh, do now. <laughs>